completion of my faith graduation of my faith yani kuhitimu kwa imani now the question is friends nilini imani yangu na yako itahitimu kwa sababu na leo nataka kuambia hivi hautakaa na imani ambao you are testing throughout lazima ifike pahali ijulikane na ipitishwe that now your faith is working your faith is bearing fruit your faith is producing your faith is prevailing your faith is making impact na katika jina la Yesu Kristo wapendwa vile uliingia kwa ile gate ukaja kwa haya madhabahu the main issue ni kwamba imani leo lazima ifanye kazi chochote ambao umekuwa kigojeo na ngangano na ngangano na ngangana wapendwa hata Kenya hata uhuru unapiganiwa na watu wanapewa hata South Africa na kulikuwa kubaya walipewa nami nasema you must get freedom of your faith kwamba what you have been struggling with amen isiwe no longer struggle Kenya siku hizi we don't struggle for independence hata kama kuna siasa nyingi we celebrate independence unaambua sasa tarehe 12 Disemba kuna sherehe ya kusherekea uhuru eh, June 1st June kuna sherehe ya kusherekea madaraka I want us to believe God friends hata from today tutakuwa na sherehe ya kusherekea imani iliyo fauru tutakuwa na sherehe ya kusema can you imagine now katika inchi when they say uh, kwamba twasherekea madaraka when wakati tulipewa madaraka ya kuunda serikali yetu na Kenyatta kwa prime minister there should be somewhere whereby i can celebrate madaraka hata kuna wasichana wetu wanakaa kama kuna mawe umewekelewa we are na kama hear this kama una imani ya kuondoa tuletee tukuondole you know sometimes you struggle and struggle and struggle but it's good now you, you to, to say me, to, all what we need to do is to agree with you we may not need a lot of struggle friends kama your faith is not working can we please agree together tusaidiane tuondoe hiyo mawe kwa sababu we can no longer you know christianity the way ilianza na Yesu mwenyewe kule galili na the way we are it is today something should be done kwa maana sasa watu wengi ni kuokoka na kuwa wa kanisa but let me tell you this christianity is a move of god it's not a religion us wengine wana vile wanaelezea christianity ni jesus is god moving katika tabia yake na kutenda mambo katika tabia yake na kuongea mambo katika tabia yake that's why Kristo alipotokea aliambia watu hivi time is fulfilled amen the kingdom of god is at hand akasema aminini tubuni dhambi na muamini ijili christianity is as simple as that time is fulfilled kingdom has come receive it that's powerful kama katika ukristo wako muda hautimi kama katika imani yetu ufaume hauji then that is now very discouraging and want to talk about faith and the the faith ambao inahitimu one thing i want us to agree with is that katika biblia kuna hatua za imani za ajabu sana Now, what the Bible says katika kitabu cha Isaiah 40 about about the move of God in the new power. Now, I want to believe I want us to believe God for this this scripture. What the Bible says, what the Bible katika Isaiah 40 ukiangalia verse 27 and there are two verses nataka uangalie hapo, verse 27 and verse 29. Verse 27 is a struggle. Verse 29 is deliverance. 27 inasema, verse 27 inasema, why do you say O Jacob and speak O Israel? 
I hope uko hapo tafadhali na hakuna mtu ajui saa isa zile vitabu hamjui ni akina hapa cook na nahum na sijui na ni hosea na obadia vitabu vingine ambao watu na ha, haya <laughs> aha na zingine zinaitwa akina tobit ambao ziko katika biblia ambazo Catholic wanasoma vitabu ambazo hazina ushahidi wa ufunuo Usome at Maccabees so don't read those books uh, they are not canonical they are deutero canonical they are not canonical zinaonekana kama uh, lakini naonaga inoro wanasoma you know that is now uh, now tukienda 4027 inasema now 27 inasema hivi bona unasema e yakobo bona unanena e israel jia yangu imefichwa bwana asione now when we say jia yangu imefichwa bwana asione my way is hidden from the lord now the truth is is a lifestyle you cannot some base quiz mike is a lifestyle ambao there's no evidence of god we wa muka unaenda na ni kama maisha yako ni ile tu ya kawaida ya dunia pako nasema jia yangu imefichwa bwana asione kuna maisha ambao nomari ni kama Mungu unasema hayaoni hatokei nuru yake haingii ukifanya mahesabu unaona ni utu umejaa ni akili yako imejaa ni ukawaida umejaa mpaka ulipokuwa na goje hapa na pale ukaona katika hii shughuli naona tu ni ukavu wa kawaida wa mwanadamu pako nasema my way is hidden from god and then kitu kingine ambacho a bible inasema my claim my claim on bilangu madai yangu kilio changu kimempita hakuhusika this is a lifestyle ambao mtu uka na ukavu ambao unakuvuja moyo ukijichunguza kabisa a to z unaona hii maisha ina tabia mbili jambo moja jia zangu ni kama zimefichika mungu ni kama haigilii na my claim ambao ni kilio cha haki ni kama kilimpita hakuona amen praise god listen there's somebody here who is saying that my way is hidden from god my claim has passed over by my god to this but i want you to know this how taka ukisema hivyo tena because hata waliosema wakati wa isaya they were stopped walisema no 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 it can't continue again ulikuja kwa hii ibada ili sasa hii maswali mawili badilike iwe kwamba my way is not hidden from god and my just claim has not passed over my just claim kilio changu hakikumpita na jia zangu hazikufichwa tunataka kubadilisha hii swali badala iwe swali iwe jibu jia zako hazikufichwa tunataka ukiingia ile mlango ukija ibada tukikusalimia ukisema bwana asifiwe the next thing is a testimony ya jia zako ambazo they were not hidden from god the next thing is a testimony ya majibu ya bwana haki uliyotendewa na bwana nami na naomba saa hii nikihubiri mbele yenu from now mungu asikie ombi langu hii maswali sasa ibadilike badala ya question mark tuweke full stop my way is not hidden from god and my just claim did not pass by my god amen i decree this by the mouth of god jia zako hazitampita mungu bila kuhusika hazikupita mungu akaziangalia hivi no way huo ukavu uishe kwa hii kanisa amen hallelujah na bible inasema vizuri sana jia yako sasa watoto wako bere ya bwana biashara yako safari zako hazikufichwa Mungu alisiona hukumu yako haikumpita 
Bwana aliangalia na nawekelea hii neno mikono hivi nikisema katika apostolic faith church bahati may god deliver us from this crisis haleluya kwa maana the lord is raising you to be a blessing the lord is raising you not to be a question in the church not to be a question in your family not to be a question in your business but to be an answer my claim did not pass over aliingilia Mungu wangu naomba sasa hii ni swali tena in this church haleluya chochote kinasubua mtu hapa kinasubua mtu hapa naomba sasa kisiitwe sasa kilichofichika kichome kitokee vizuri and now from this minute not from next sunday in this minute this minute chochote kilikuwa kinakaka na kwa mungu hausiki we are declaring it is not hidden from god i tell you as i preach now hiyo area yako ambayo inaonekana kama imefichika right now unapotoka ibada uto upate imetokea bele za bwana na imetimizwa haleluya nataka leo kesho kienda city hall kesho kienda ile ukienda sijui bakasi ranching team popoto tenda utasema do you know something nilienda nikatop nikapata title diagu kwa meza nilienda nikapata ile kesi nilikuwa nae high court nimeshinda nilienda nikapata kwamba waliokuwa wananifuata they have withdrawn kutoka leo may god now have your way not hidden hallelujah na petition uliyoomba miaka na miaka kutoka sasa tutasema my claim before god my claim before god hallelujah the bible yasema kwamba katika hiyo aya ya 4027 inasema kwamba aha haikumpita bwana your claim haikumpita bwana mungu wako hakuruhusu mandai yako impite right now as i preach naomba bere ya kicha enzi mandai yako isimamishwe mbona nasema hii sipite nitahusika nitahusika hii imepita ikapita last year ikapita ehe hey, haleluya na kama wanavyosema binguni hata hapa isemwe i pray director fulani on monday fayo yako imezoea kupita tu kupita tu i pray by monday uh, somebody somewhere katika serikali katika your company oh promotion yako pesa yako hiyo treasury itafayo itasemekana hii isipite hapa hii sasa isipite hii itashughulikiwa ndio mwenye hii fayo akija saa nane kuichukua aseme kwamba madai yake haikuruhusiwa ipite bereni ilikuwa inapita but today haimpiti bwana receive an answer receive an intervention receive it now my friend i say receive it hata kama ulisahulika somebody be quickened hallelujah mungu aliyemwamsha mfalme siku za mridekai akaamuka usiku akasema na kubuka mridekai ambao alikuwa awawe alikuwa anyongwe usiku mfalme akaamuka kabra ya mpango wa naman kufanya haman kufanya kazi the king rose up akubwa kwa mendekai aliokoa maisha yake aliokoa serikali wakati mmoja na asubuhi akasema mtu kama huyu afanyiwe nini naomba ukubukwe na asubuhi kuwa na madai such a woman such a young man apewe heshima yake haleluya kuna jambo lisahaulika miaka tano ilipita kuna kitu ulifanya miaka ishirini imepita kitu ambacho kilistahili heshima kikasahaulika na minasema Mungu atingize mbingu kwa maana umekupukwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo our faith now is graduating to god be the glory to god be the glory and that's why the bible says something 
when your faith graduate two things happen one ukiangalia isaya 40 baada hii mambo kubadilika hii maswali mawili kubadilika bible inasema wanaomgojea bwana let's talk about this issue katika hiyo isaya hallelujah inasema hivi haya <clears throat> but those who wait on the lord now you see mugu hakatai kuna hali za utu ambazo they are being judged human effort is being judged kama utaenda na utu mungu anasema katika aya ya 29 aya ya 20 aya 30 even the youth shall faint and be weary anejiita mwanalika katika ule uyuthi wake tumeona katika nchi ya Kenya tumeona America now kama bereni youth walikuwa wanaitwa sujaa bereni vijana walikuwa wanaitwa furaha ya nchi bereni bereni katika nyakati za kare youth walikuwa wanaitwa warriors but look now Sikiza redio inoro kila pahari uh, ramogi sikiza hata zote zen what are they crying for wanasema youth wameisha actually today at america everybody is crying about the youth at the us at the uk they are all lamenting about the weakness of the youth agalia mtandao bwana wanaongea kuhusu wasichana bao the inch haijui kama wanaweza olewa na kuzaa wafaume wasichana about their uterus imetumika you know one time I was praying for somebody and i, I and i felt there's something wrong nikamwambia no you you you, you, you. what happened kwa maana nikamwambia umetoa miba nyingi akaza oh, you know bishop nimetoa miba zaidi ya 10 na wadiachana is an issue is an issue do you want to believe mtu kama huyo unless damu ya Yesu iingilie atazaa na bi atuletee atazaa you see there's a hopelessness imetokea and that's why bible nasema kwamba wanao amini nguvu zao at such a time wataisha wanao amini nguvu zao unakuta mama unatembea kwa street una unajiamini people are talking about kujiamini i want to make a correction even today in the morning by every preacher anakuambia ujiamini ujiamini we are preaching philosophy instead of the word of god bible said the youth you faint and be weary Unakuta msichana ambao unagojea di atakusimamisha I was telling the wazazi from mtu kutoka that years aanze kuweka retirement fund Kwa maana youth about to konao sasa mimi nawaambia siwafichi at their time unless Mungu aingilie kwa hali ya juu itakuwa ngumu sana mtoto kusaidia baba Plot prices to hike mortgage kununua nyumba right now nyumba ya maana ni 25 million nyumba ya maana kama buruburu plot ni 8 million now youth wetu hawana kazi na sometime badara ya wao kuinuka wewe na bd kama kuna watu raise are the youth mimi situkani mtu siiti mtu jina nasema youth ukiongea na ana muuliza unaelewaje sijui at the only thing mtu anafikiria ni kuolewa the issue ya kwamba anaweza kuwa millionaire the issue ya kwamba anaweza fungua mikahawa the issue ya kwamba aweza kuwa na fleet ya tax anunue magari you know unajua ile kuna ile hali ya kuchemka na talent kuchemka na talent kuchemka they are talking about discouragement they are talking about failure but let me say this friends what to how ambao belendi ndio walikuwa masujaa wa vita today muzazi ndiye sujaa na unakuta hata ukiwa na miaka 8 your son anakuoba fair 
Na kama si hivyo anakuoja anakuopa pesa ya kutoa mke wake maternity. Pako na shidwa at even at my age my son mke wake akizaa ni mimi na toa hospitali. And that's why Bible says now the issue of your youth even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. No the youth now tumefika pahali sasa the issue is not the age the issue is faith. Hali ambao sasa Mungu anaongea juu yake sasa sio umri. Umri una maana lakini sasa sio umri. The issue is faith that is working. Now, Bible hapa nasema kwamba ukiangalia verse 30, the youth shall faint and be weary. The young men shall utterly fall. But verse 31 inasema kitu cha maana hapa. Inasema hivi, wanaomgojea Bwana watapata nguvu mpya. Kuna kitu kinaitwa the growth of faith through waiting upon God. What is waiting upon God? Katika hali hii mnaona imani hali ya imani mimi nikiangalia Biblia na niangalie mitume na manabii kuna kitu kimoja naona katika Musa kuna kitu kimoja naona katika mitume kinaitwa kugojea Bwana jina kugojea Bwana usidaganywe it involves prayer you cannot wait upon God in any other way away from maombi mtu aliyegojea bwana kwa magoti mtu aliyegojea bwana mungu akijua unamgojea let me say this huwezi gojea mtu of your huwezi gojea mtu bila arrangement ambayo inaitwa kugojea hello kama unatembea kwetu Lazima kuwe na tabia inaoitwa kugojea wewe. Kama wewe ni mgeni wangu kwa ofisi, nitakani kijua saa tano waka kinya na kuja. Nitakuwa na tabia ya kugojea mgeni. You know some people, tunadai tunagojea bwana, lakini tabia inaoitwa kugojea bwana hauna. You can't just be waiting upon God. Kiakili hauna hiyo. Moyo hauna hiyo. I'm saying this by the grace of God. Are you hearing this friends? Lazima tuunde tabia inao itwa kugojea. Na mugu wa jue anagojewa. Na tabia moja ya maana sana. Ni mpagilio wa maombi. Maombi. The issue here is prayer. Mimi ni kiakari ya bibiria. There is no other way. There is no other way. Kama ni manabi, kama ni manabi, ukiagalia mbutu kama, de, kama Danieli. Alipo, katika Daniel chapter 2. Alipo, en, alipo sema, kuna mugu binguni anayefichua siri. Alisema, apewe muda, akatafute rehema za mungu. Amen. Kama ni Danieli katika Daniel chapter 9 and 10. Bible nasema na Danieli ukiagalia akatega siku 21 za kugojea bwana. In most instances, mungu walitokea watu wakiwa katika magoti. Mungu walitokea watu katika uwepo wake wakiomba. This issue kugojea bwana ni issue ya maombi. Amen. And that's why ukiagalia uh, Second Chronicles chapter 20 wakati Jehoshaphat kulitokea shida ya vita kile alifanya aligeuka akamgojea Bwana na katagaza bio ya maombi That's why God appeared na akaongea I want to recommend the right way of waiting upon God is prayer Is prayer serious prayer Paka mko akiangalia najua kabisa huyo ananigojea Si uregefu tuko nao unakuta umejichanganya unaomba si maombi no 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 let god know seriously ni wewe unagojea Wacha Jehovah ajue somebody is waiting somewhere somebody is seriously waiting na huyo mtu hataki kujichanganya ni yeye anagojea na Mungu anajua kukitokea wengine Hawa gojewi, you are true na hata mpangilio na tabia na attitude za mgojea 
Mungu ajue anagojewa na mtu. I say let God know that you are waiting. Hallelujah. Na katika ile ya kugojea unaamini anakuja. Unaamini anatokea. Unaamini utamuona. Friends, hakuna kitu kingine cha maana kama Mungu anayegojewa sasa kutokea. And I would like to tell you friends, things you change when God visits. Things you change when God appears. Things you change when God comes. Amen. Hallelujah. Na Bible nasema kwamba wano mgojea bwana. Kuna hii mabwa matatu imetajwa hapa. Number one, watapokea guvu mpya. In English it says, they shall renew their strength. Now, what is renewed strength? Nini kinaitua renewed strength? Renewed strength, renewed strength is unique. Now, ukiagalia biblia when the Bible talks about the renewed strength, utaona some aspects za maana sana in the scriptures. Na mungu anaongea mambo ambao itakutia moyo. Anapofika sasa kunenea wate ule kuhusu renewed strength. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna renewed strength. Mungu atakuwa muru kwa guvu zake ubadirike ubadirike hallelujah ebu enda isaya 43 isaya 43 just add hapo mbele isaya 43 nasema hivi lakini sasa bwana aliyekuhuruku e ya kombo yeye aliyekuumba e israeli asema hivi usiogope maana nimekukoboa nimekuita kwa jina langu we uwangu upitapo katika maji mengi nitakuwa pamoja na wewe can you notice this now ni nini nafanya maji mengi isikuweze it is god being there with you amen katika mito hautagarakisha Uendapo katika moto hautateketea wala mwali wa moto hautakunguza maana mimi mugu wako mtakatifu wa Israeli mwokozi wako nimetoa misri kwa ukobozi wako nimetoa kushu watapa kwa maana praise the name of the lord that's powerful the lord will be there to rescue your soul in Jesus Christ name ukienda isaya that five verse three. bible nasema another promise ya maana hapo itieni nguvu mikono ile idhaifu when god gives new strength analeta another aspect that must strengthen your weak hands amen and make firm your feeble knees Oh my God, I worship you. That five, jit, itieni nkufu, mikono ilie dhaifu. Yafanyeni imala, magoti yalio legea. Wambieni walio na moyo wa hovu, jipeni moyo, musiogope. Tazama mungu wenu, anakuja na kisasi. Na malipo ya mungu, atakuja na kuwaokowa ninyi dipo macho ya vipofu yatafubuliwa na masikio ya viziwi yatasibuliwa na dipo mtu aliyekilema atarukaruka kama kurungu na ulimi wake aliyebubu utaiba maana katika nyika maji atabujika ata atabujika na vijito jangwani hallelujah now let's analyze this now Kitu cha kwanza is a new strength. Semeni nguvu mpya. I want to declare new strength. Are you ready for that? He nguvu mpya ikija. New strength ikija. Kuna tabia ambazo zimetajwa katika Isaiah 35 ambazo I believe right now it must start working. Bible inasema mwambieni. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is how uh, verse 3 
Mwambieni mtu alie na mikono weak hands mikono ambao ni midhaifu are you there friends mwambieni yule mtu alie na mikono midhaifu itieni nguvu mikono iliyo dhaifu that's one thing yafanyeni imara magoti yaliyolegea now kwa nini nguvu mpya ikija the first place inanenea ni wapi mikono na miguu Hello praise God. Kwa maana kitu kimoja nguvu mpya itafanya is to put you on motion and action. Miguu hutembea, mikono hutenda. Unapoenda kazi iko hivi. Miguu hukupeleka kazi, mikono hufanya kazi. And God before anything else, he is talking about your legs and your hands. I'm speaking to you my sister, my brother. Mikono yako ilikosa nafasi katika hii nchi. And now mikono yako haina kitu inafanya. And God is saying he is introducing new strength kwa mikono. And he is introducing new strength kwa miguu. Nataka kuona kuanzia kesho. Miguu ya washirika wetu is on mobile. I say nataka kuona kesho 6 a.m. Unakimbia bio kwa maana unaenda kuona faida ya maisha unakimbia bio kwa maana kuna nuru mbele yako unakimbia bio kwa maana munda wako wa mbio umeanza mikono iliyo dhaifu itiwe nguvu sasa na magoti ambao is weak ipate nguvu watu wa mugu waanze bio yao na waanze kazi kwa mikono yao and that's why bible inasema hivi Ukiangalia vizuri katika Isaya 40 maana tumesoma inasema hivi wanaomgojea Bwana watapata nguvu mpya If you check the scripture the first thing inaongea juu yake ni kutebea It affects your legs Kwa maana kitu ambacho Bwana anatoa kwa maisha nguvu mpya ikija ni hali ya kukwama They shall walk Oh my god my god i need new strength because the new strength you create you create my walk they shall walk the new strength in akupa the first thing it gives you is power to walk and now kile kinasema kwamba nokianza kutembea you are not fainting it has two things unatembea na kutembea kwako sio kama kwa watu wengine. Can I say to you friends, katika jina la Yesu, hii tabia kwamba ulifungua kazi kaanguka must end now. Because the new strength itasababisha utembee. No ukitembea you are not fainting. I declare to you whatever the new strength you give you. Hallelujah. Mahali watu wengine wanafuga biashara zao. Mahali watu wengine wanafunga biashara zao. I said to you if you young couples, mahali mtu akiwa young couple anafika unavujika moyo, doa yako inakuwa na strain, watoto wako nakusumbua. I want to introduce new strength to young couples by the word of God. Usigoje kuteseka na kuaibika kama wengine. You are now walking in new strength. Umetembea kama mtu bereni. Bible imesema even the youth shall faint, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And God you create a walk. Na hii nguvu ambao Mungu ananipa na kuambia wapendwa utapewa ruti ingine Ruti ya kawaida watu ugojea doa yanguke. Ruti ya kawaida watu ugojea watoto wavute bangi. Kwa ruti ya kawaida watu ugojea katika tineja Wewe na mke wako muumizo na watoto na mpate hasara. Can you hear this friends? Receive a lifestyle ambao ni matokeo ya new strength. This one is unique. Yo hallelujah. Munaoana sasa msiogope vile mlikuwa mnatishwa ambieni watu wa kizazi hiki we are walking the new strength na hiyo new strength is unique mahali watu uzimia inasema tutazimia tumeona other couples wakifika middle age they faint and get discouraged but now the new strength inasema tukifika hapo sisi na my wife and my husband badala ya kufaint We will walk far. 
Nasema you shall walk yes Na katika kutebea kwetu Mahali wengine huzimia We Bible says you shall walk And not faint Tell your neighbor I'm not fainting Mm-hmm. Mom, yeah. now from today, I'm, I'm unique. I'm unique. I'm unique. I'm unique. I'm unique. I'm unique. Hallelujah. Kwa maana tumeja record za aibu. Ata mukiogea wa mama unasema, mahali watoto ufika. Wanasubua mtu akiri. Mahali maisha ufika ya ndoa. Muna thigitha nana muedua. Mahali maisha ufika. Munalia mpaka sasa watu wengi wanaogopa kuishi. Watu wengine wanaogopa kuongeza watoto. Kwa mwono unahesabu mtoto kimuongeza. Uki, ukiangalia the way children are behaving. Ni kama meongeza struggle ya teenager. But I pray now. Maisha yako izaliwe na nguvu mpya ambao mungu atakupa leo. Mungu wangu ni we na gojea. Baba ni wewe na gojea. Unizae katika guvu mpya. Kwa mana razi makuwe na maisha mungu na peana mengine. Haiweze kani wapendo watu ingizo kwa pattern. Mahali ya mpapo ni kulia tu ni kulia na kumia. We must believe God. Kuna maisha inatabia tatu. Mimi mungu ataniambia weka mikono ilio dhaifu nguvu. Magoti ambaye ana guvu ya tie moyo sasa. Kwa maana mungu wa nashema ni naanza sasa kutembea na kutembea tembea kwangu nikitembea na haleluya mahali wengine huanguka sitaanguka mahali wengine huzimia sitazimia i walk but god says my walk has a unique mark i will not faint my walk has a unique mark i will not faint can you declare it on your soul kutembea kwangu si kwa kawaida mimi sitazimia sitazimia nimeona wengine walio tangulia wakilia na kuzimia but i want to give a new testimony my work is unique it is born of god ni mungu niligojea ni mungu nagojea ni mungu ninagojea na kile anapeana ni tofauti na kile wengine wamepewa mungu wangu atanipa nguvu na hii nguvu sasa itazaa maisha ambao sio kama ya wengine haleluya Baiba ya sema kilicho zaliwa na mungu Hushinda ulimuengu I am born of God Hallelujah Time has come Uede nyumbani tell your family This family is born of God It is shall overcome the world Hallelujah Amen Enda uondoa hile right into watu wadika Sijui Jesus is a silent listener Enda sasa uweke Gina kinasema kwamba Inasema hivi Amen He who lives in this world He who lives in this house He who lives in this business He who lives in this company He who lives in this marriage Is greater Than he who is outside there Hallelujah Enda tagatha hiyo bedroom Weka mahali muzea na soma Sijui mama munaraga upado wa ukuta Adika hapo He who lives in this bed And in this bedroom Is greater than he who is in the world Dio wakati unawana kama unakosana Unasoma hiyo Arafu ogeze kengine I shall walk And not faint Badraya kusikia uraniya bedroom Una amuka asubui Kama wazimu Amuka asubui ukiwa natabili Can you write those words of anointing Amen Kama nyubayako yiko na stairs Pare kwa stairs Abia designer andike kakitu I shall walk And not faint Ukifika pare Pare stairs inaishia Pare juu Andika, I shall run and not faint. Ukifika karibu na gate, andika, I will mount up like eagle. Na kama 
entrance ya kwa nyumbani iko at least na ka distance hata kama ni ya 3 meters. Mita ya kwanza adika nitatembea na sitazimia. Mita ya pili andika nitakimbia na sitachoka. Mita ya mwisho karibu na mrango wa gate sema I'll fly. I'll mount up like eagle. Andika hivyo and sometime unapopeleka watoto outing kitamtoa kwa gate wambieni soma hii soma hii soma hii do you know something katika islam mtoto akizaliwa they have a, they have something about it very difficult mtoto akianza kuongea anasema anasema hivi mimi ni muislamu baba yangu muislamu kaka yangu muislamu baba yangu muislamu 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 hata sisi tuandike vitu andika vitu that your children you grow up with waambie kuingine unakuwa kai lakini hapa sisi Mungu aliniambia tutatembea na nguvu mpya na hiyo nguvu ukitembea hauzimii ukikimbia hauchoki i want you to be on motion now wapendo wa kuna nguvu mpya lazima upokee sasa nguvu mpya nao sema kama tuwe tusoma uh, that is chapter 3 uh, that the 5 verse 3 itien nguvu mikono ilie ilio dhaifu yafanyeni imara magoti yaliolegea why now hii saya sasa inaelezea the healing the characteristic of the walk in the new strength ndio nasema kwamba waambieni walio na moyo wa hovu jipeni moyo msiogope tazama Mungu wenu atakuja na kisasi and then nasema verse 5 dipo macho ya vipofu yatafubuliwa masikio ya visiwi yatazibuliwa na mtu aliye kilema atarukaruka kama kurungu na ulimi wake aliye bubu utaiba wacha kuongea utaimba utaimba these are four characteristics of bondage amen praise god inaongea kuhusu nini mikono magoti amen hallelujah inaongea nini nyingine kuhusu macho na masikio na inaongea kuhusu ulimi katika hali ya mungu kukupa a new life it will be felt kwa mikono kwa magoti kwa macho kwa masikio na katika hali ya unenaji May God touch all those areas with the new strength. I say may God touch all these areas with new strength. Mikono ilio dhaifu sasa receive new strength. Magoti ambao yameregea sasa yapokee yawe imara. Hallelujah. Where about moyo umejaa hovu Bible ya Shema Bwana anasema jipeni moyo msiogope tena. Macho ya kipofu wewe ambao shetani amekupiga na upofu nao twaondoa huo upofu Bible ya Shema macho ya vipofu yatafumbuliwa. Masikio ya kisibi yatazimbuliwa liwa aliye kirema arukaruke na ulimi wa aliye bubu sasa hata sikuogea ataogea ataiba ibo mpya i declare this new move this is the graduation he dio kuitimu kwako na and i told the truth msiogope answer is this new strength how kwa na ebereni unajua sometimes watu let me unajua the problem to know ni kwamba people are not waiting for new strength they are depending on existing strength Unaambia mtu brother unajua kuna mtu kiwaambia brother nataka tuamini Mungu ununue roli Anasema acha tuongee acha asema hiyo siwezi Sasa unasema huwezi the only thing you need to do ni kusema i believe it Jameni kusema unaamini shida Naomba nguvu ingie kwa ulimi wako Kwa maana hii isho ya ulimi hii ayogei kuhusu ulimi ulimi ambao hauongei inaongea kuhusu ulimi ambao ni mateka inasema hivi ulimi ulimi wake aliye bubu utaiba na wewe sasa si ulimi kwamba huosalimi watu ni ulimi that has no confession kuitikia na kukiri mama kubwa kwako ni shida Naomba huo ulimi wako sasa ukobolewe. Hallelujah. 
Bwana asifiwe. Hii mambo masikio hapa sio kwamba usiki. No. But the problem is unasikia in a selective manner. In this way, kuna mambo ikitajwa makubwa kwako ni shida hata huwezi kubali kusikiza. But God is saying katika masikio yako kuna a new touch that God is going to do. Anasema kuna masikio yatazibuliwa. Kuna mambo akili yako na masikio yako haisiki na Mungu akataka uingie level nyingine ya kusikia. May the Lord bless you. Aliye kilema arukaruke kama kurungu. This is this I, I pray this tabia sasa ziwe kwa hii kanisa. Hii kanisa iwe celebration church. Amen hallelujah. I don't know kama mnaelewa kwamba kuna wakati watu ufika things happen paka mnashangaa. Na hiyo area I'm waiting for that in this church. I'm waiting for your flying season. Na gojea sasa majira yako ya kupaka matai. Kwa maana hapo dipo us at the church to go pamoja. We are going far. Hallelujah. It's true. It's true. Unajua mimi nimekuwa bishop I know when you meet with people. Unajua uongozi ni tofauti sometime na prophecy na anointing. Uongozi mnakaa chini na wanaume na wanawake na mnangangana kiakili. Sometimes when you speak prophecy kwa chama cha kanisa in your level it brings pro- kama kuna kitu kimenisumbua is prophesying to a council or a church board. Unaenda mkutano, I remember nilipo nenaona mungu kuhusu mambo ya covenant, nilienda bishop's council and I prophesied. You know it was funny. Mwenye natabiria, ni wale 1975 walikuwa angali kwa hiyo chama. Mimi nimewapata the other day. Unaambiwa sasa sikiza. Pako una. Sasa hata siku siku hiyo siku itwa bishop, niitwa baba dongo, nitawa dongo. Wataka kutuambia. No hata ule mdogo wangu na wale tuko nao it was a nisho naambia Mungu amenionyesha hii kanisa itatoa millions na bwana tumekuwa hapa unajua one of the thing about kuvuja watu moyo is history listen kuna watu wanaoperate na history na kuna watu wanaoperate na revelation kile Mungu aliongea juu yake si history aliongea kuhusu your sons and daughters shall prophesy You are young men shall see vision. Unaenda na maono. Mtu na kutolea history. Amen. Daudi alienda na maono. Dugu zake wakamtolea history. Wataka kutuambia wewe unaweza rudi kwa kondoo. Joseph alienda na maono. Baba yake na dugu zake wakamtolea history. Wame, wataka kusema wewe na mdogo hapa. Baba na sisi tutakuinamia. Don't worry. Don't know what it friends. Hallelujah. Unajua ni hata nisema wacheni mambo ni unasema hata kama mimi niko hivyo si mimi ndio mkubwa wewe unaambia wazee si mimi ndio mkubwa sasa eh muruhusu ni ni toke ni tonge kile Mungu ananiambia. It was papa. Tulipo na conference what happened a revelation ikatokea. People tukagudua katika kanisa kuna watu walikuwa na gojea ufunuo wa kanisa. Kuna watu walikuwa na gojea professor hii kanisa. Within 10 minutes tulipata covenant commitment ya 6 million. Within 2 months for the first time in this church account ilikuwa na 7 million. Hello? Tripa ya Joro tukatoa 13 million hata MP wa Joro the following Monday kulikuwa na siasa huko anauliza nani huyu ametokea akachangisha pesa nyingi namna hiyo you know they think em kwambie wanafikiri ni wao tu wako na hiyo let me tell you if you walk by revelation amen mtakuwa mnapita na kina Ruto na kila kwa barabara gari zako za maana because now kuna revelation huingia katika store ya biguni inakuletea utukufu hazina ya bwana there was who is this and that's what tatakuwa mbarikiwa what unajua let me tell you this kile kile kitu kitachokesa this church in history you know people uta, una, like now unanijua kama bishop aliye kama bahati kemadhi na tebea tebea huko sasa gini kuna chai kwako hizo story usiniletee hiyo chai tulipo pinguni 
There are people even zile picha zangu uko nazo ni wakati nilikuwa nimekonda sio 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 imagine sio imagine next year unichore yani utumie we utumie ufunuo uchore picha mpya bishop two years to come nikiwa na kanisa kubwa ndio ishore hiyo na the only photo unaweza kunitumia ni kubukubu kubu. si baya lakini unaambia bishop do you remember this do you remember this? Anyway, it's good, but nigetaka uchangaje na ingine. Uniambie bishop, do you remember this? Ara uniambie bishop, can you imagine this? Hallelujah! Bwana asifiwe! Nataka sasa utoe picha ya T.D. Jakes akihubiri kanisa watu refu saba. Hallelujah! Ulete picha ya MC Bishop do you remember this? Can you imagine you becoming fish? That is much better. Na utoke haraka wa MC tuenda huko mbele. Alafu niambie can you imagine Bishop nikiwa intercessor wako kwa crusade kama hii. Let a crusade moja ya bonke akiwa Lagos. Kwa maana Bible inatupeleka bari. Waambieni watu wangu itieni nguvu mikono iliyo dhaifu. Yafanyeni imara magoti yaliyolegea. Waambieni walio na moyo wa hovu jipeni moyo msiogope Mungu wenu anakuja. Kwa maana now listen, they are not talking about the history of your, of your blindness. They are talking about deliverance from blindness. Let's talk about that fresh. We are not talking about vire bereni ulikuwa na teso na mume wako. Nanena kuhusu how you become rich. You know, there's a woman ni mutabili hapa. I think it's that lady. I remember. Habari yako. And she normally sits there. You know, things were difficult. Na uh, na alikuja kwa ofisi yangu akakatalia za bishop sio doki hapa nataka baba anene. Kamwangalia nikamwambia oh god things were difficult. You know nikamwambia that says the lord you shall be rich. Na mume anayekutesa aliyekutupa aliyeenda atakuja kwako. Na wewe ndio tamulisha na chakula. Na wewe ndio tamtafutia kazi ingine. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ilifanyika. She came, he came back. Kaacha dogo dogo. No one let me tell you, prophecy removes you from torture. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And my sister kabarikiwa anaambia bishop niko na sababu sia nimejegea watoto na kuna maploti yake no and I thank God watoto walisoma. Now this time six of muze 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 this time ni Either, either. You know, uko, wa uko, tunasonga. Why? Kwa maana we produce from the Lord a prophecy. Bwana kaniambia wekelea mikono yako juu ya mikono yake. Inene utajiri usio wa kawaida. Nikabua wekelea mikono yake juu ya kichwa yake. Munene upako utajiri usio wa kawaida. Munene, hallelujah. That's what we need. Story ya kwamba tunamjua huyu na unajua nini sasa unajua nini kama Mungu hajakuambia mambo ya wa. you know if God has not spoken to me about you you know you are, you don't know anybody in this church until God tells you you don't know kwa maana pumzi ya Mungu leo ndani yake ya dada fulani huijui ni Mungu aliweka mtu kuamka akitembea hivi si mchezo jameni ni uhai wa Mungu you need to research about that uhai Eh uh, uhai huo sasa una research yake. Kwa maana dugulika ameamka Jehova, unamuonaje na unatakaje? Those are the people we need. Hallelujah. And that's why God says the lame shall reap like deer and the tongue of the dumb shall sing and the water shall burst forth from wilderness. We are not talking about how wilderness is wild, is wilder or whatever. We are talking about things that will come. And that's what we are talk, saying, the graduation of your faith. Imani yako haitaka hivotena. 
I'm going to pray with you now by God's grace. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Bwana nakwambia dada, jipe moyo, jipe moyo. Tia nguvu mikono iliyo dhaifu. Mikono hiyo ambao inaambiwa you know there are times mikono yako imezoea kunyoshwa nyoshwa tu hakuna kitu inaingiza. Bwana anasema itieni nguvu sasa kwa maana hakuna mikono ya mtu hapa itanyoshwa hivi irudi vibure. Itie nguvu sasa itie nguvu sasa. This time is God speaking to your hands na Bwana anasema kwamba magoti yaliyolegea sasa yafanywe imara. Kwa maana now the Lord is saying kama alivyosema katika Deuteronomy 28 verse 12 God is saying something anasema hivi atakufunulia bwana hazina yake nzuri nao ni bingu kwa kutoa mvua ya inchi yako wakati wake na kwa kubarikia kazi ya yote sikiza kubarikia kazi yote ya mikono yako nawe utakopesha mataifa mengi wala hutakopa tia mikono yako nguvu because this promise Deuteronomy 28 verse 12 will go with your hands hallelujah 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 the lord is powerful bwana nasema utabarikiwa uondoka na utabarikiwa urudipo utabarikiwa unapolala na utabarikiwa unapoamuka therefore from today mliokaa kwa nyumba mliokuwa mnatembea na migo, magoti aliyolegea i now declare from this altar hakuna mshirika hapa ataamuka atembee hivi arudi buri that's what the altar is saying amen, amen. We well, usijali ni Mungu ameongea hivyo. Na simu usijali God has spoken. Kwa maana kile kimefanya magoti yako yo dhaifu is the discouragement. Unatoka unarudi na madeni. Unatoka unarudi na matisho. Unatoka unarudi na kilio. Can you gusa miguu yako hivi? I declare by the word of God hiyo miguu yako haitatoka irudi bure now i declare by the word of god utatoka urudi na baraka itie nguvu hiyo miguu mikono iliyolegea ipokee nguvu for the word of god must become true the god you bless the work of your hands na atafanya mvua yake inyeshe kazi yako Hallelujah. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Your faith is graduating. Tusimama tushukuru Mungu. Halala 